Hi, and welcome back to Shane's DIY. Uh, I'm going to change things up a little bit today. Um, my latest uh, infatuation is uh, my RC stuff. Uh, I've done it years ago, but uh, kind of fell out of it and haven't haven't been into it for a while. But uh, uh, my, one of my sons and I decided to get uh, a couple of Aero Scouts and get back into the hobby. Um, had some old equipment, but uh, it's been a lot of years, so had to upgrade. Um, so I decided to get one of these TX16Xs for Media Mastered, and uh, I'm super impressed. I'm a programmer. My day job is uh, programming PLCs and uh, automation stuff, so this is right up my alley. This is fantastic. The the versatility you have with this radio is awesome. But uh, uh, if you're here, you probably know of the TX16S, so I don't need to get into that too in-depth. But uh, one thing that I'm going to talk about today is the... Uh, uh, spectrum. I did a lot of research to try to figure out how to get this to talk to the the uh, smart receivers and use the safe mode, uh, AS3X, and the intermediate modes. Um, and there was a lot of confusion on that. Uh, not a lot of information out there on how to get this to 100% talk to the uh, all the smart features uh, of these receivers from Spectrum. Uh, my other radio that I had was actually one my son had used on a helicopter, but it was an old DX6i here, and uh, it doesn't do the forward programming that you need to um, to program all the smart functions. So it wasn't really that helpful. I did get it working, uh, but I have learned some things. So I wanted to share that with you guys in case it could help somebody else. A um, couple of caveats. Um, the uh, the the way that I got this to work with actually I got four different modes to work right out of the box without doing any forward programming uh, without any uh, uh, USB programmer I did order one and I got it but I haven't uh, yet done anything with it so this is right out of the box um, but uh, one thing I've heard and I haven't been able to verify this because I don't have a, a quote vanilla receiver off the shelf uh, I believe this what I've done here will only work uh, without any additional forward programming with the bind and fly versions of the plane uh, or any plane that has one of these. Uh, this particular one has an AR631 receiver in it. Um, so it's got the smart, uh, or the uh, safe mode <coughs> and the uh, safe intermediate as well as the, the, the only AS3X which is fully aerobatic. But uh, I've learned some things to do with the channels that I wanted to share with you guys. So if somebody else is trying to do this, you can get it to work. And... Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let me show you what I've got here. Also, another thing, uh, most of the people that I've seen demonstrating the safe modes don't really show you all the, the, the ways that it works. They just show it uh, activating on the, the AS3X, which doesn't really tell you the whole story. So let me show you a couple of things. I think you'll be interested in this. So let me go ahead and get this bound up. So you plug the battery in. Now the bind process, if any of you guys have been researching this, the bind process is um, key. When you do the bind, if you want the safe modes activated, you put the bind plug in, which is just a little pigtail here on this one. Uh, you power it up. After you power it up, then you pull the bind plug out. Uh, that'll give you the safe mode and the AS3X. If you leave the bind plug in, you only get AS3X. So I've bound this with, uh, with the safe mode enabled because I wanted to try that. Now I'm in what's called the, just the AS3 only mode, but you notice it doesn't do any compensation. It doesn't activate that AS3 mode until you get 25% uh, throttle. So you can see that the, the surfaces are not reacting to movement. So first let me show you how to get that activated. So let me activate the throttle and I'll give it some throttle. Okay, cut the throttle. Now that I've done that, I you can hear that, the uh, surfaces are moving to compensate for any wind uh, turbulence. Um, so let me show you the safe modes I've got here. Um, so I've got this program to my SE switch. So I've got the safe mode, or well, I, I just have it saying the word low rate because I didn't have a safe mode uh, uh, wave file and then the middle is so I, I, it says medium rate but that's kind of the intermediate and I've got two different modes to show you on that one and then if I go up 
I call it acro mode, but that's just AS3X, so there's no no uh, no safe mode on that one. So anyway, let's go to safe mode. So safe mode is the one where it limits your motion. It will only let you turn to about 30 degrees or so. So you can see I've got ailerons. It also mixes the rudder automatically, if you can see that. So in safe mode, ailerons are mixed with the rudder. If I move the aileron only, moves that. Uh, elevator, very little movement. It doesn't move a lot. Uh, but another thing, the uh, elevator is linked up to the throttle. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if I give it throttle, the more throttle you give, the more up elevator it'll do. So right now it's actually kind of making it go down. So if I give it throttle, no. They want to give it throttle, you can see the elevator moving. So that's uh, also mixed. Now, here's the interesting thing. So um, hopefully you can see this. If I do the, ele uh, the aileron, as the plane starts to tip, you can see that the ailerons move to flatten out. So they won't let you go further than that in safe mode. If it goes further than that, the elevator goes past it and it pushes you back up. Also, if you let go, it automatically goes down and it would level out the plane. So you can let go of the stick and it'll auto, it's called self-leveling. So that's on by default. Again, this is a bind and fly model. So uh, these are all the default settings for that. So anyway, aileron, it'll stop that far. It won't let you go any further than that. And if you let go, it'll self-level, okay? Now there's an intermediate mode. medium rates. Now I've got more movement. You can see the rates are higher. And if it turns, when you get to that level, it's automatically, it's not proportional anymore at that point. So I turn it. As soon as you get to that, about 70 degrees or so, it just flattens out and it won't go any beyond that. But if it keeps tipping over, it doesn't do that. And also if you let go, it does not self-level. It'll stay at that pitch. Okay, and then of course if you go to the AS3 only mode, which is aerobatic, now if I turn it, I've got the full rate still, but I can go all the way upside down. It doesn't self-adjust. Uh, also, back to that intermediate mode, the uh, elevator does the same thing. So if I try to move the elevator, once it goes to a certain pitch, it'll automatically stop and keep you going at that level, won't, go, won't, won't, let you, won't let you go inverted, okay? Same thing on the down, if you're going down too steep, so if I go down the elevator, as soon as I get to a certain pitch, it automatically flattens out. So it won't let you go inverted. Now that's the stock intermediate mode. So you still have AS3X, you just have higher rates, and you don't have self-leveling, Okay, so the intermediate mode. Now, if I, my son's got a uh, NX6 radio, and when he binds the intermediate mode, <clears throat> that's the mode he gets. So, so basically, you've got higher rates. You don't have self-leveling, but you do have uh, the uh, AS3X. Now, I've found by manipulating channel 5 and 6 is how I'm doing that. But, and I'll show you guys this in a minute, but let me activate this other intermediate mode that I found, which basically gives you higher rates, but it keeps the self-leveling enabled. So I'm manipulating channel five. Now I'm in intermediate mode. I've got my higher rates still, but you can see I've got proportional ailerons as I get further out and also if I let go of the stick it's going to self-level so it's basically you've got a fourth mode that has self-leveling it's a self-leveling intermediate mode so you get better control because <clears throat> the one thing about the really the the very basic safe mode is you're very limited on your control um, so that kind of bothered me when I was flying it 
uh, I wanted a little more control, with, but with this extra intermediate mode that gives you the, the self-leveling, which would be nice for landing, you know, if you're just getting used to a plane. <clears throat> so, let me show you how I did that. So, yeah, if you get portional, you still got the higher rates, and in the, in the, you can go to 70 degrees, and you got self-leveling. So, let me show you how I did that on the radio, and what the... Uh, outputs you've got to send to channels five and six to get this to happen so all right hang on let me get it set up and i'll show you all right so let me show you what i've got going on here okay so i've mapped this s e button that's got three positions okay so that's mapped and it controls channels five and six with some special functions so let me you can see my uh channel monitor here. So right now if you watch channels 5 and 6 so those channels 5 and 6 are what's telling the safe modes what to do. So let me go through the mapping here. So here's my inputs. You can see I've got some dual rates here, but that's, and I've got it mapped, so basically where I'm in the, uh, the full aerobatic mode, I've got some expo built in there, but it's not really relevant to this. But I haven't mapped anything to channels 5 and 6 on the inputs, or on the input page. So you see that. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay, I go to my mixes. And all I've done is, and I don't even know if this is necessary, but for channels 5 and 6, I just linked them to channels 5 and 6. And then for the outputs, I don't have anything special going on in there. But let's go over to logical switches. So what I've done is I've got L1, L2, and L3 mapped. Hopefully that's in focus. I can't tell. I'm looking at the camera. So the first one is just A equals X. I'm using the SE switch. So when, a, when uh, the SE switch equals minus 100, L1 turns on. <coughs> when the SE switch equals 0, L2 turns on. And then when, L, uh, when SE equals plus 100, L3 turns on. Okay, so that's all I've done there. Now, under special functions, here's where the where I've got these programmed. So, the first one, you can see that I'm you know, the special functions one and two are both activated. If I switch it to uh, the, so that's safe mode, so you can see channel five equals plus a hundred, channel six equals minus one hundred or negative one hundred. That activates the safe mode. If I go to the intermediate mode, you can see now I've got channel 5 equals plus 100 and channel 6 equals plus 100. Now, if I go to um, AS3 only mode, channel 5 equals minus 100 and channel 6 equals plus 100. That, so the, 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, AS3 only mode and the safe modes, those stay the same if you want those two. The fourth mode, which I'm actually in right now, so this plus 100 on channels 5 and 6, oops, that creates the intermediate mode that still has self-leveling <coughs> activated. Now, if I want that original intermediate mode that's like the stock spectrum radio will provide you, like my son's NX6, if I go in here to SF3 or Special Function 3, I edit that. If I change the value from 100 to 0, now that mode with a channel 5 of 0 and a channel 6 of 100, that's the intermediate mode with, with no self-leveling. So. 
that's the way I've got that set up. The uh, I did manage to get the DX6i to work. Uh, I can't remember. I didn't have all four modes on that one, but I think I could get them to work. I just kind of gave up on it because I ended up getting this Radio Master. But uh, <clears throat> but if anybody wants to uh, some little more detail on the DX6i radio, if you've got an old one sitting around, you want to try to use it with the safe modes. I can show you a video on that as well. Um, and again, this will not work if you've got an off-the-counter one that uh, hasn't been in a bind and fly plane because uh, those are come with AS3 and safe modes are both deactivated apparently from what I hear so or from what I've read and seen on the, on the internet. But uh, hopefully I've covered enough there to help you get set up. Um, there was the procedure where you, uh, you go in like that. And then you flip the switch you want to use five times. I imagine you've come across that procedure if you've uh, um, been looking for a while. <clears throat> I did do that originally with the the DX6i. I don't know if that was required for this uh, for the Radio Master to work because it was already assigned to channels five and six. Because you are using the gyro channel and the uh, For the DX6, you're using the gyro switch and the uh, gear switch. So you don't have any three-way switches on this one, so you have just two-way switches. So I had to kind of come up with a combination of switches to get the right mix of the channel 5 and 6 to get it to work. But but I was able to get three modes working on that, too. I'll go into detail if anybody wants that. But uh, All right, one other little bonus tech tip I'll mention Uh if you decide you want to have all four of those modes uh, uh, switchable at the same time, since all these switches are three-way switches, you really can't put all four of them on one switch. Um, but there's a couple options with the Radio Master. Um, you can, you've got six buttons right here, so you could uh, put uh, safe mode on one, uh, intermediate mode with self-leveling on two, intermediate mode with no self-leveling on three and then the uh, AS3 aerobatic mode on four if you wanted to do something like that so but uh, these six buttons would probably be my preference if I decide to keep all those I may not once I get used to this plane I might switch it over because I'd kind of like to do uh, some flaperons with it uh, some other things and for, for that I'll have to change the radio around and probably deactivate AS3 altogether but uh, Anyway, thought I'd give you that little bonus tech tip, but uh, you got some awesome options with this radio. Anyway, hopefully that's uh, to help somebody out. If you have any questions, post them in there. I can uh, answer the questions. If there's something I can do to help, I just know that a lot of people have been having these questions and trying to get these modes working with the Spectrum with their Radio Master. And uh, was not very intuitive, so I had to do a little digging and experimentation with those different channels and different mixtures to try to get those to work. Um, but uh, appreciate you watching. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.